one of the country's very best spellers, and if his hard work pays off... An Acadiana 8th grader might become the National Spelling Bee Champion. Scott Brazda opens the dictionary in tonight's Spirit of Acadiana. First name, Jonah. J-O-N-A-H. Second name, Stoot. S-T-O-U-T. He is an 8th grader at John Paul the Great Academy, and he's a speller, and he wants to go all the way to the top. It says, Jonah Samuel Stoot, age 12, grade 7, Kiwanis Club of Lafayette, Lafayette, Louisiana, John Paul the Great Academy. It's official. Jonah Stoot is proudly listed as a participant in the Scripps National Spelling Bee Competition. Beginning this Saturday on ESPN3, he will virtually compete in the preliminary rounds, with the eventual goal being a physical place on the national stage in July. Like the first nine rounds is online. Um, and then the top 10 to 12 will go to Orlando, Florida, and keep spelling words until one of them remains or all of the words are spelled. Only 209 spellers left standing. Quite an accomplishment in particular for this lover of books and languages. But I still didn't think I would get to one of the top 209 best spellers in the nation. It feels really good. I'm, I'm really happy with uh, what I've done. And I'd be even happier to get even farther. It'll play this recording Excursion. of the word. It'll play the multiple. Excursion. Yeah, it'll play the multiple ways you can say it. He's constantly practicing and studying these days, often utilizing a script spelling program. And when he needs a break, there's another love that helps him regroup. Now he admits there is a bit of anxiety about this spelling bee. You nervous? Yeah. Um, it's, it's a large competition. It's the entire country. Countries are large. But Jonah says he's not really focused on winning, just on making a good showing. And the most important word for Jonah Stute is the next word. You take small steps that you can take, and those amount to a great distance. You know, Jonah, I won the eighth grade spelling bee at Turlings Catholic High. It was on the word laboratory. I know, I, I know. You've been telling me that story over and over again. L-A-B-O-R-A-T-O-R-Y. Yes.